Are you looking for a way to organize your overlanding gear and considering a Zargus aluminum case? Today we're going to be taking a look at this K470 heavy duty Zargus aluminum case I purchased, give you my first impressions and talk about what I have in store for it. Coming up. I'm Drew and this is Every in Overland. On this channel, we help overlanders out for themselves through adventure, through doing gear reviews, vehicle mod tutorials, and cooking tasty camp recipes to share around the fire. Zargus has been producing high quality aluminum products out of Germany since 1933. They made some of the first lightweight ladders that went on any of the expeditions to the Himalayas, constructed Faraday cages, built passenger cars, and most relevant to me, this chunk of aluminum storage goodness you see to my right. I have been eyeballing Zargus cases for well over five years and that's why I'm so excited to finally have made the investment and purchased one for myself. And I do mean investment. Nowadays I have more of a buy once, cry once philosophy with my gear and that's one of the reasons why I ended up purchasing the Zargus case. No, Zargus did not sponsor this video, although I wouldn't be opposed to it in the future. I just purchased this case for the first time. Can't really give you guys a review on it, but I'm gonna go through it, talk about its attributes, and give you guys my first impressions of the case. Hey, make sure you're occasionally going over to the Evergreen Overland homepage and watching the feature video on that channel. There's no way to update past videos and re-upload them to YouTube, so occasionally I will shoot a new feature video to keep you guys informed of the different promotions and offerings available to the community. If you're watching this video the week that it airs, that video is not up yet, but it will be shortly. Zargus makes quite a variety of different cases. They make light duty cases, medium duty cases, heavy duty cases like this K470 series that I have here. The model number on this guy is the 40841 and it comes in at $437.96. The box is primarily constructed of aluminum and has three fully welded profile frames within the lips of most of the components. What that means is that the lip here is actually a rolled and pinched and welded lip here between multiple pieces of the metal sandwiched together. It's here, here, and the base all contain those fully welded frames. And on many of the models, depending on the size, you'll see this rounded corner beading on all four corners just to give it another level of structural stability. Heavy duty cast corners designed for stacking multiple cases and thick latches for securing the lid, which can accommodate a lock or be keyed as an option from the Zargus. They use a solid rivet to secure all the different components that aren't welded. You got your rivets securing your top corners here, rivets securing the back stainless steel hinge, rivets for the handles. Basically everything is riveted on there really nicely. Now the handles seem pretty quality, you know, kind of your standard handle, heavy duty. I think they're rated for 150 pounds a piece of like downward pressure and they fold really flat along the side so that it doesn't really stick out any farther than the actual lip of the top does anyway. So so you're not really sacrificing any clearance around the sides with a unnecessarily bulky handle. In the heavy duty K470 series, there's 26 different sizes ranging from $240 to almost $1,400. There's really a size to fit any need that you might have for a Zargus case. Some of them have additional supports running this way for a little bit more structural integrity. Some of them are rated for lithium battery uh, transportation, so they're actually able to go on planes. What is that, FFA? Future Farmers of America. Not FFA, TSA. TSA approved, so they can actually be transported on airplanes, and some of the sizes are even rated for grizzly bear resistance. On the inside of the lid, you have a full polyurethane seal that goes all the way around the top. It's adhered with some sort of adhesive to it, so if you had to replace this, I'm sure you'd have to really strip it off and then get the proper seal to replace it. I've never heard of anybody ripping it. I kind of feel like with a seal around the bottom edge of the lip, there's just a little bit more risk for like wear and tear when you're loading stuff in and out, just dragging things across it unintentionally. I could be wrong. Maybe it's not that big of a deal, but I do like that it's tucked away in the lip up there. Obviously this thing is robust. It's shiny. It's a piece of kit that you're going to be able to hand down to your kids. Now what I feel is such a unique attribute about metal welded cases like this one over your or action packers or roam cases, which I've never tried before, but I've seen them online, or like the black bottom yellow top storage bins that you see in all the different places nowadays, is that you get fully vertical walls, allowing you to completely optimize the space in here. There's just a lot less wasted space, and you're not dealing with those tapered edges of a molded plastic product that has to have that for it to be able to release to the mold, but when you go to stack things in there and store things and organize things, you're just always battling that edge kind of angled way 
wasted space in my experience. Couple that with the fact that the lid is permanently mounted to the base of it uh, with that stainless steel hinge in the back and that it has these nice fold flat nylon straps that don't get in the way of anything when you fold it up. You're not taking up interior volume space with like a hinging mechanism that has to close in there. And then they're not really getting in your way of being able to store things pretty optimally out to every edge on the inside of this. Being that I always wanna show integrity in my videos and give you guys the most honest reviews, I do wanna point out a couple of little flaws that I see in the case. Now this is all aluminum, so this thing is not gonna remain ding-free, scratch-free, all that kind of stuff. Aluminum is a soft metal, so it's going to have some marring and some patina, and honestly, that's kind of part of the fun of having a case like this, is, is building up some of those scars of your own. One thing that I did notice is that it's packaged in a really nicely fitting box. Obviously it was designed for this case, but these little corner protectors that help it during shipping were only on the top edge here and not on the bottom edge. And what actually happened is in the shipping, you can see it on the box itself, but you know, they obviously weren't super careful and they slammed it into something. And being that there wasn't a lot of padding on the inside, I got a nice dent here and a little bit of corrosion in that dent. Kind of a bummer to see out of anything you buy. I think they should probably throw a little bit more protection in the boxes, but realistically, a dent on the bottom is probably where most of my dents right out of the gate are gonna come from anyway. So, so not great, but it doesn't really bother me. There's gonna be more on the bottom very quickly. Lastly, uh, I look completely around the full case looking for any major flaws or anything like that when I unboxed it. And I did actually find one that I do think is a manufacturer defect. These walls, at least on this size, are constructed of two pieces of sheet metal, and then they're, you know, spot welded together right here, and then across the back at the back seam. Um, really good construction there and everything like that. But in this top corner right here, there is a little, I don't know, it's probably 3 16th rectangular pinhole that goes all the way through from the front to the back. So it's just a little manufacturer defect. Uh, it's not that big a deal. I mean, you could absolutely seal that up with just a little bit of silicone and it would probably be good for a very long time. To be honest, when you're paying as much as you do for these Zargus cases, I can excuse a couple of dings and dents and scratches or whatever it is, but something that has a hole all the way through the case to the inside, I think is just a manufacturer defect that kind of needs to be replaced. So by the time I put this video out, I'll let you guys know what they decided to do. I'm pretty dang confident they're gonna replace the case for me and that'll be great. I'll just send this one back. They can do with it what they will and uh, hopefully I'll have a new case. Quick update, Zargus got back to me the next morning. No questions asked. They're shipping me out a new case and they also sent me a shipping label to send my current case that was damaged back. Just speaks volumes for doing business with a good quality company who really stands behind their products. Any manufacturer can have manufacturing defects, but what really matters is how they handle situations like that when they are Arrive, and Zargus did a phenomenal job. I couldn't be happier with them. Finally, on to what I have in store for this case. I am gonna be building a new and improved kitchen storage bin for all of my cookware and utensils and all of that kind of stuff. You can see a video to the current one I'm running, which is in an action packer heavy duty tote right here. And basically why I'm getting away from that is because it doesn't have the straight edges for the organization system that I built into it, which I am going to build and improve similarly inside this case in a future video. And with those slightly angled non-vertical walls and some of the bump in plastic molding to make it more structurally sound, it just isn't the most efficient use of a tote of that size. As well as redoing the modular organization system in this to be a lot better quality, I'm also installing a Zargus tool pouch on the lid here. And basically that tool pouch will hopefully be a good place to house a lot of little utensils and just random odds and ends from the kitchen. The second use for this case is going to act as a step to get into the back of the truck so that I can discontinue having to bring my little ladder with me. But I'm gonna be outfitting this with a top plate similar to the ones that Goose Gear makes for the Alu boxes. Unless they come out with one for this Zargus case, that would be sweet, just to give you some strength so that you can step on this to get into the truck. Hey, I know that this is a pretty significant investment and I know that this box is not gonna be for everybody, but if you have been on the fence and looking at Zargus over the years, now that I have one in my hands, I get it. Like it's a really quality piece of kit. I'm really looking forward to 
having it for a lifetime. If this video helped you to figure out if a Zargus case is right for you, I would definitely appreciate you name dropping the channel to the company when you place your order. As I said before, this video is not sponsored by Zargus, but the more quality brands I can build a relationship with, the better promotions I'm gonna be able to bring to our community. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comment section below. Smash that like button to let me know I've done a good job. If you wanna see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when a new video comes out. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I promise to do a review of this once I put it through its paces. You'll see the upcoming videos where I'm gonna be modifying this to be exactly what I want it to be. Thanks for watching, have a good day.